So I'd like to explain what a vitreous floater is. This is an extremely common problem that affects most of us and it typically comes along around about the age of uh, 50 onwards up to about 75 years old. And what the person will experience is shadowy inclusions in their vision, little almost insect looking, um, possibly worms or threads that move around inside the, the vision, particularly when you're looking at a, a white page or perhaps at the blue sky. So how do we deal with floaters? The issue with, with floaters is they come from this vitreous jelly. And the jelly occupies the space between or behind the lens and in front of the retina. So naturally, if you wanted to get rid of the floaters, you'd have to remove the jelly. And the operation to remove that jelly is called a vitrectomy. We typically do not recommend a vitrectomy for vitreous floaters on their own because that operation is quite a significant operation. It's normally done for a retinal detachment and it comes with about a 5% risk of, of certain complications. What we would normally recommend with floaters is that you try and live with them because they actually will go away simply by the fact that your brain will ignore them after a while. So think of if you're watching your favorite TV program on quite a small screen, you get so engrossed in the content of the, of the program that you, you don't notice the plant behind the TV or the frame of the television. So a similar thing happens with your eye. If you just ignore the floater, <clears throat> it typically will then go away and a new one will come along. But what we encourage people to do is to just know that they're not dangerous and to ignore them and, and try and let them go away rather than have the risk of having that operation. In terms of, of what is dangerous about floaters is there's a few signs that you need to be aware of that should you have them you'd need to seek uh, medical help rather than just ignoring the floaters. And th the first one that we're concerned about is a retinal detachment. What happens with the retinal detachment is as this jelly becomes more watery it, and more mobile, it can tether to a place on the retina and pull a little hole in the retina. If it pulls a hole in the retina, fluid can go under the retina and push it off. What you would experience if this happened is typically initially you would see flashes of, of almost what would look like lightning or a camera flash. And that's as the jelly is tugging on the retina, it produces the sensation of a bright light or a flash. So if you see that, uh, rather have it checked out. The second important thing is uh, the side vision obstruction. So in other words, on the side of your vision, a curtain coming in from any, any part. And that would be as the retina starts to detach, part of your vision would be missing in, in the outside part of your, of your visual field. If you see that, you need to seek medical help as soon as you possibly can.